time for a love potion A little sweet and spice Throw it all in a cauldron Mix it up real nice Fire in my eyes Stir counterclockwise I dream of Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sharon. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning back, I'm very grateful. So today, as you have seen, we are doing a kitchen refresh. That means I'm going to do the cleaning around the kitchen. I'm going to uh, organize everything around. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. You get a motivation of cleaning and organizing or you get an inspiration. So we are going to start by removing the curtains because they were really, really, really dirty. At this side, uh, we have a lot of dust coming from the road. So my kitchen uh, curtains tend to really get dirty a lot. So we are going to clean the, to remove the curtains, then we clean first. I'm going to put them in the machine to be running so that as I, I'm doing other things, of course, they are drying. And then by the end of the day, we are going to put them back. So as you can see, they were really, really dirty. And, and the fact that it's white, it really gets dirty a lot. So as you can see, it was really dirty. So I'm just going to put them in the machine very quick and then let them clean. And then we, now we start doing other things. So to start on our today's video, I'm first going to remove some of my uh, gifts, which I've never opened, guys. It's been a year and some months, I know. I have some gifts. I know there are cups and glasses and uh, cutlery, which I've never opened. So I was thinking, let me open them today and then clean them because they were taking much space here as well. So I'm going to remove them and then clean them. And that's why I'm doing the the real the whole organization thing in the kitchen because I want to create space for these things. So now I'm going to clean all of them and then and uh, we are going to organize them. I know there will be a lot, but I really want my kitchen to look beautiful and organized. And I don't want these things to be staying in the box all along. And I have some uh, spaces in the cabinets. So I'm going to remove all the glasses with you and pack all of them. And then we are going to clean all of them and then start the organization from there. So if it's your first time watching my videos, I'm really, really grateful. I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. As I've said, my name is Sharon. I do videos of cleaning, organizing. I do DIY projects. I do cleaning. I do cooking. So if you love such content, please consider subscribing to this channel. I promise to make you not to regret by being here. So please make sure you subscribe and join the family. Also, remember to leave me a comment. Remember to leave me a thumbs up. And also uh, hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you are notified as well. This is the moment, no turning back. One drop on your lips, and the spell will take effect. So guys, these are some of the gifts which I did not open from my engagement party. So I didn't realize how much I had. So these are a lot of cups and glasses. I'm thinking I'm going to give out some of my old ones. I, I know I'll get some of them. I'll give them. Because... So, of course, I had to do the cleaning first. Of course, that's obvious because these cups were dusty. So, as I was doing this cleaning, I was really, really thinking of how I was going to organize these things because I could see they were a lot and I was really worried now if the space was going to be enough. But I really managed to organize and and it came out very, very well at the end. I'm really happy with how my kitchen is looking at the moment. So, please make sure you watch this video to the end so that you can see the, the latest reveal of my kitchen. Me. 
I'm to show you what I got, what Jules sent me. So this multifunctional uh, framework. So this I'm going to use it uh, on top of my micro microwave. So it's like a microwave uh, organizer. So I want to create more space in the kitchen. So we are going to use this. And uh, she sent me also this very beautiful uh, uh, this soap bottle so i'm going to put one for the kitchen and maybe one for the bathroom although for the bathrooms i have the one which you buy which they are exactly like this but i'm going to use them these ones in the kitchen i think so these ones i think i'll use both in the kitchen and this one we are going to organize our microwave like the way it is so we are going to assemble it and then we organize so that i can put uh, i want to put my uh, these uh, spice jars on top of uh, my microwave so that I can create more space for uh, the glasses which you have seen and then rearrange my kitchen completely. So I really hope that you're going to enjoy this video. So make sure you check out Jules Auzol for these and many other more. We wanted to do a bigger uh, refresh with many things but we did not get many things on time. So we are going to work on this for now. Maybe in future we are going to do another video. So I'm going to leave our contacts and uh, the name of our Instagram page, the link as well in the description box make sure you reach out to her So to assemble this was not that hard. It's really easy to put it together. The problem is now it's really high and so um, the space here will not be enough. And now that that really started giving me a lot of thinking as well. But this thing is really huge. I ended up using only the lower part. I did not use the other part. So I might use it maybe in, in the bathroom or in any part of my room. And the good thing about it, it's also it stretches. So it's really nice. You can even use it to organize a lot of things. You can even use it to organize your shoes or you can, you can use it in the bathroom. So I ended up using just one part because it could not fit the whole part here because it was really high. So it would not serve the purpose if I uh, I used the whole part because the upper part would just not uh, hold anything. So you are going to see the end result at the end. So these bottles are really beautiful and as you can see they really make my kitchen now look more beautiful instead of having the whole bottle of the of the soap and also it will minimize the use so that there will be no wastage and also it will just look beautiful in the kitchen so who doesn't love uh, when a place is looking beautiful and it's also it's also easy to use you just push to the side to open and push to the other side to just close and you just press it and you use it so it's as easy as that. So one thing I also did while I was recording this video, as I told you guys, I did a lot of deep cleaning in the kitchen, but I did not show much part of cleaning. But now we are going to wipe all these spice jars and then I'm going to fill the other jars which need to be filled because some need to be filled, they are empty. And then we are going to start organizing the upper part before we come to the lower part.
Well, for this first section of my cabinets, I'm going to wipe it and then I'm going to bring the bigger jars to this lower part. And then the upper part, I'm going to put the glasses, the glasses for water, and maybe the jugs, the two jugs which are for water. I, I hope it will be enough. So I'm going to put all these down so that it will be also easy accessible for me because I'm very short. And then we are now going to put the glasses up and then we'll see how this is going to come at the end. So this beautiful spaghetti jar I also got from Jules Household uh, a, a few months ago when I was doing my kitchen makeover. If you saw even my my jars, by the way, the bigger ones and these small ones, all these all these jars I got from Jules Household as well, and they have been really really serving well. So anyone who is still asking now, I'm going to leave all her details and the contacts. You can call her and make sure you check her out on Instagram so that you can order from her. Her prices are really really good. I really love her from that, and uh, she's just a very good person when it comes to. To marketing and uh, knows how to really handle the customers so make sure you reach out to her if you need anything just let her know that i referred you to her So all the glasses now are a bit dry. I'm just going to wipe a few water which is still there and then we start organizing them at the top and then we'll see how it's going to come out. We are going to organize the the cups on these other on the other side but these ones for uh, the glasses we are going to put the upper part where I removed the bigger jars from. So at this point, I now realize that I am having uh, mugs of many, many colors, especially the green color. But I really love this color. I might make it my uh, my my theme for my uh, for my utensils. Maybe this color and a white one because it really looks good. So what do you all think? I really loved it, and I was not even bothered by the color. It really looks it really looks so beautiful. <laughs> pair of jeans just shirt or two we didn't pack as if we weren't and going back it doesn't matter if it's true i've got a feeling love will give us what we like the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door so finally, it's all done now, and as you can see, all the glasses were, uh, were 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 able to fit in here. So it's really looking good. So we are going to organize the other side now by putting the mugs, and then I'm going to show you guys how that will also look at the end in a bit. I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights So this other side is also done and it's looking, looking so good. So I managed to organize a few glasses at the bottom there with the plates. So it came out really well. I'll show you in detail at the end. So now I'm going, to, I'm trying to sort out the cutlery. There are now a lot, but I still have these two holders, which I caught, I think, it was really long time ago, but I think it was in China Center. So they have been really serving me well. So I'm going to organize all these now and then I'll show you guys the, uh, where we are going to put them after that. <laughs> I 
miles a year away Like the seconds, the beginning and the end uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home to me again so I did not intend to touch this part of the cabinet. This is the middle part on top of my cooker, but I thought I should use these baskets, which I got them from, uh, I think it was a house of leather when I was doing the makeover because it it didn't look uh, good and appealing to me. And after now organizing these other sides, I, I thought it should be good if I just uh, make sure this place is also organized. So I ended up using my two baskets, which I've been using to put my baby's toys. So I used them to organize this part, which have um, the few leftovers of stuff or the sources which we use so i'm going to get a bigger basket for my daughter's toys so in the meantime we are going to use these ones in the kitchen and they really came out very well and funny enough the the two baskets fitted that place very very well the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh, and if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store I want to take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights So while I was editing this video and now watching me organizing these things in the baskets was so therapeutic to me and I realized how baskets can really transform a place and make something look more neater. So I'm thinking I'm going to get more more uh, more baskets in the future for my house even to organize things just in the bathroom or storage places because they really make a very very big difference so I think it's a good thing if you also want to make a difference in your spaces. So finally, I'm now trying to put together all the uh, this thing in the countertop and make sure that I organize. I told you guys this thing stretches and you can see now it's a bit longer and I just used one, uh, one part because it's really tall. So you can see it really came out well. So please let me know in the comments what do you think if I should change anything or you are, you are happy with the result. So while I was reorganizing my kitchen and just playing with things around, I really realized that organizing a small place in a different manner can be really hard. I can tell you this day, I really had to think a lot and a lot, but at the end, I really managed to uh, nail it. But one thing about uh, playing around with things in a smaller place is really hard, but the outcome always comes out well. If you just think out of the box for a small time, and just get something out of somewhere and just think of just switching something, it always come out well. So it really came out very well. You're just going to see in a bit because we are almost done. But the last thing I'm going to do is just pushing the fridge and these things around. And then we are just going to sweep and then clean this place. And then I'm going to arrange this other part as well completely. And then now we will be done with this video.
So for this other side, I just interchange the fridge and this organizer and the, the dispenser. So I reorganize it completely so that it can give a different look and a different feel, but nothing much. And I also brought my uh, coffee maker on this side. And I'm also going to organize the cutlery on top here so that it can be also it can also be very, very accessible. You are going to see that in a few. So that's what I did on this side. And uh, that was it. Actually, it came out very well than I expected. So the last thing we are now going to do is just putting the mats and then putting up the curtains and then we are we are done for this video guys. It really really came well. I'm now going to show you the before and then I show you the after. So this is now the before of my kitchen, which uh, this is how it was looking before we did all the organizing and all the switching things around. So if you have been here, you are aware with this uh, with this layout. As you can see, things were just all over the place here and there. But I'm now going to show you the after. So here is the after now. It really, really came out very, very well. I was so, so happy because everything was able to fit everywhere. Even this, uh, the ja the spice jars which I've put on top of the microwave really came out well. That was really worrying me. But as you can see, even the baskets are looking so good. Everything is neat and organized. The mugs are organized. The plates, everything is in place. So I'm really, really happy. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please make sure you leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see on this channel as well and as always let's keep our homes clean and i'll see you all on the next one